Welcome to the Eclectic Thrifter and Crafter, where we thrift and craft with purpose. It's Tea Tuesday, or in my world, Crafty Tuesday. Let's pour a cup of tea and let's see what mischief we've gotten into this week. But before we begin, we have a new tea. It is thistle tea. After five minutes steep, it has a beautiful color. It has a lovely mild flavor. I will put a link in the description below where you can find Thistle Tea by Edinburgh Tea and Coffee. I am not sponsored. This is for entertainment purposes only. Hello. Today we're going to upcycle this vintage apron base by Fenton. The design is hobnail and ruffle, and this is a wonderful and easy way to breathe new life into a vintage piece of milk glass. I have plugged in my hot milk gun. While that heats up, I'm going to lubricate the holes in the base where normally the flutes would be inserted. The lubricant I use on my sewing machine and other craft equipment is treadmill lubricant. It's not corrosive to rubber belts. It comes in very handy in the craft room. This is what an apron looks like with all of its flutes. This is a large base and the flutes are much larger for it. I just have not found them yet. My hot melt is ready, so now I'm going to gather my selected flowers into small bouquets. At this point, you're going to fill the little openings to the top with the hot melt. The lubricant will prevent the hot melt from sticking to the glass. At this point, you're going to insert the base of the bouquet into the hot melt. It's going to look like that and it will come right off the glass. You can grab a little something and brace the flowers up while you wait for it to cool and make your other bouquets. This is also a wonderful way to upcycle the Fenton candle holders that you often see in the thrift stores. A low set orphaned candlestick can be utilized in this way as well. What is nice about this project is that as you thrift the flowers that you like, you can make an assortment of bouquets that are easy to store and that are interchangeable throughout the seasons. After the hot melt is dried, this is what the plugs are going to look like. The little plugs make it very convenient. There's no fussing with flower arranging because it's already done. And here we are. Very quickly, I'm going to share what I did with some recently thrifted florals. It looks as though as they were part of a wedding. It was a sale day that day where if your purchase was over $20, you received $10 off. This bundle of flowers basically only cost me $4. I'm going to make a garland for the doorway inside the craft room. I've been wanting to do it for some time, I just did not have enough florals to complete the project. I love these beautiful apple blossoms, I'm going to use the sturdy stems to create the arch. It's been blustery and rainy outside for the last couple of days, so it was perfect for setting the time aside to finish the last of the few remaining projects that I had left to complete. I try to use as much of the greenery as possible. I am especially fond of the hydrangea leaves, so I did not want to leave them out.
And here's the final result. I think it turned out especially well, and I do love purple. This is where I've added the little blossoms to the end of the garlands that go in the living room. When I was making the garlands for the archways in the living room, I did not realize that one archway was a little bit wider than the other, so these blossoms were really handy and they helped me even them out. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like and subscribe. Share my thrifting and crafting channel with your thrifting and crafting friends. I welcome your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. Check us out on Instagram and tap that notification button for upcoming announcements of thrifts and crafts. But most of all, have a lovely, lovely day.